In this video, we will be reacting to a flipped up Guba 12 Day 2 main event between Pistolero and Zenlook. Let's go! Let's go! Heavy weight! Kung kalaban si Game Boy, kapwa tiga Mindanao kaya nakakasuya. Yun pala, kailangan ko lang awayin yung bunso para magalit yung kuya. Nice. Medyo singkit, tapos bonjing, para siyang sinto-sinto. Parang nagpagupit ng 7-7 kasi yung ulo niya pang pito-pito. Kahit limang beses ka maligo, ang hit pa rin yung disenyo. Kahit maging pinsan mo si Maxi, hindi ka pa rin presko. Oh, bars. Isang taong mataba na gusto maging geng-geng. Ang weirdo mo talaga. Maliliit na mga letra. Sobrang sakit mo sa mata. Ngayon, panalo mo ipapa... Whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't quite catch that. What did he say? Maliliit na letra. Masakit sa mata. Mataba. I don't know. Let's let's go back and listen to that again. Kit, tapos bonjing, para siyang sinto sinto, parang nagpagupet ng seven seven, kasi yung ulo niya pang pito pito. Kahit limang beses ka maligo, ang hit parin yung disenyo. Kahit maging pinsan mo si Maxi, hindi ka parin presko. That's a good bar. Sang taong mataba, nagusto maging geng geng. Ang weirdo mo talaga, maliliit na mga letra, sobrang sakit mo sa mata. Okay, I didn't get that. What? It's hard to connect. Ah, mataba, malilit na letra. Yung malilit na letra and sakit sa mata. I I kind of get that, but the setup of mataba, gang gang weirdo. I don't know how it connects with the punchline that he said after that. Oh, I don't know. Just put it in the comment section. Maybe I'm missing something out and. On that right, on that scheme, but to me, it just does not, you know, make sense. But you know, let's go on. Ayon panalo mo ipapako gamit maso sa husgado. Di na tutulog ang hustisya parang may nakabatak na hurado. Tinalo niya si Emma at si Gorio. mga may stilo na malapit daw sa akin. Pes ngayon sa laban nato malalaban yung kung ano pinagkaiba namin. Ooh, nice. Gikuro mang gahom pero di na kung huna hunaon. I don't know what language this is, or dialect, dialect, dialect rather. Ihunong na karon iyang kalipay ako ang kuhaon. Sige tutok sa nawong, doon ay hulag mo yung matahong ang mga kasumbingay ng bulawanon. Pistola mo. I really like to react. I just don't understand what dialect he is speaking. Probably a Cebuano or whatnot, but Bisaya, I don't know. Put it in the comment section what he was trying to say on that one because I'm sure that he's backing out with uh, bars because the people are reacting but so far uh, the bars that landed to me so far with uh, Zen looks um, round three bars that I personally like so let's judge this together alright let's go okay, let's go back on that pistola mo pahiramuna ikaw naman babarilin ko kaya ilag iwanan kitang butas parang bulsa ng mahihirap sir bakit ito pinadayo mo nagkamali lang to nako bawal pistolero sa gubat armas natin dito palaso oh wow that's a strong one ibang klaseng animal sana nakuha mo ang sinyalis di pinapasok sa arko ni Noah pagkahayop ko walang kapares ah I think I've heard this before I just do not know Magaran ka ng nangalibata. Dito, nagkamali ka ng binaybay. Pag nakikita ko ng bagong umaga, umaatras ang bukang liwayway. That's nice. I like it. Sa gantong uri ng nilalang, ay wala ng tutulan. Sa ganyang klase ng isip, ideya ay napakakupad. Umaga at gabi ay wala kang maiulat. Parang tabula rasa kasi nga blanco ang kanyang utak. Mmm. Alright, alright. That is so far to me the biggest line in this one. Tabula rasa. I've learned what this means from my brother. My brother has uh, his is is a history major, so he kind of speak like Zen look. He has this malalim na like Tagalog and understanding and all that. So tabularasa, if I'm not mistaken, is clean slate. 
you know what I'm saying so I understand and to me so far this is the biggest punchline I've heard from Zend look in this round tabula rasa wala laman yung that clean slate binura lahat so yeah I like it so far I got seven punchlines or b bars that l that I like from Zend look ang sining binalik at hinatid sa mga luman ang ko ang kanyang ut gabi ay wala kang maiulat parang tabula rasa kasi nga blanco ang kanyang utak mm, ngayon ang sining binalik at hinatid sa mga luman at sa himpapawid nakarating ang mga sulat ang ere tinawid at lipa rin ang mga ulap ang mga buitre dinakip at aking pasisiklabin ang mga pugad mm. maikli lang ang preparasyon pero may dala kong balangkas aabante sa tagsibol, aabante sa taglagas mm. aatake kapag swerte ka mm. sa tagmalas tandaan mo ako ang kamay ng urasan di ako marunong umatras Ooh. wow that's a strong as of uh, close in line i love that i love how he closed out what he's trying to say sabi niya about taglagas tagmalas and all that what he is just trying to say is that he is strong regardless of the season anytime any season he is a strong kaya yung finishing line niya, closing line niya is um, ako ang kamay na orasande o marunong umatras. I love that. I love that. So, so far, uh, this is strong, no? What I love about Zendlok really is is delivery. Yung voice quality kasi in Zendlok is really nice. Almost like Sayad. But, of course, the difference is obvious naman. But, so far, I, I had personally the things I like uh, eight bars that I, I listed out here and uh, to me the biggest bar on that uh, round from Zendlok is the Tabula Rasa and I love how he closed it out it's very strong and the way he delivered he knows that it is going to be a badass close in line you know Let, let's go back and just see the emotion you know what I'm saying? the the look in Zendlok's face when he closed it out because he knows man I'm, I'm closing out strong on this one I love the the, the first lines on that first round is uh, kind of okay it, it was you know so so it's not it's not as strong as his first round against Harlem I think that's the best Zendlok to me personally but you know it, it's okay the first part is uh, kind of okay but you know as, as his rounds going uh, on he is getting stronger and you can see his confidence really boiling and it's really progressing let's go back and just listen and look how he finished that round and you, you'll, you'll get what I'm saying look at this from this see he's already getting in his confidence Aatake kapag swerte ka, hitbas at magmalas. See? Tandaan mo ako ang kamay ng urasan. Di ako marunong umatras. Ah, so that four bar, he said he's just, what, what he's just trying to say, that he is strong regardless of the time and season. Tag sibol, tag lagas, tag suerto, tag malas, he is strong. He's not backing down. So like, that's nice. I like it. That That's a good first round. It's not the best. Zend look, I don't know why, but you know, there's kind of something off on, on his energy on the first part. But let's go on, listen what Pistolero has to say. Man, Pistolero is really, really good. He is in, you know, in his prime, I would say, right now. So let's go. Kung ganito yung Zend look, like 50% on the first round from Zend look, um, probably slip up na lang. I don't know, or if Pistol did not prepare much i think zen look will take the first round but you know let, let's see how pistol uh performs the first round siya daw ang kamay ng urasan di siya marunong umatras putang ina mo paano pag inadjust boom <laughs> this is what I'm saying. What the? Look, look at Pistol's face. <laughs> look at Pistol's face. He already knew that he got the thunder out of uh, uh, of Zendlok because we we know. I mean, you can see that. I mean, a Zendlok 
really close his round strong he knows that he is already getting you know he his steam ahead full steam ahead on this one but you can see on pistol space that he was able to steal the thunder house and look the way he closed his first round like look at genuine smile let's let's go back man that is a strong ass rebuttal imagine wow man your biggest closing, I mean, I, I could not think of a better way for Zendlik to close that out, you know, his first round, but the way Pistol rebut that, man, is genius. Wow, let's let's go back. Let's just see. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> Strong ass line. Look at Pistol. Look at his face. He knew he was able to steal the thunder from Zendlo. Look at him. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> you see, you see, even he himself knows he was able to get the crowd on his side just by that one rebuttal. He was able to. Steal Still all the thunder from Zendlok and that strong ass close in first line. Wow. <laughs> 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 Look at Zendlok. Even Zendlok knows like, damn man. <laughs> he was able to switch that off. He was able to, to ride off the, 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 the wave, man. <laughs> Look at it. Look at Zendlok's face. He already knew like, Dapat di ko Para mo ni Zendlok Game Boy Advance Switch. Kaling. Ang paru-paru. Fools it. Paano naisipang dumapo sa trono ko? Mm. That's... Rick, dinadalaw tayo ng lolo mo. <laughs> Lakas ng trip mo, bay. Yung ibang rapper gusto maging kasing tapang ng dragon. Kasing kisig ng leon, ikaw trip mo maging butterfly. <laughs> ano gusto mo ba? Fly, fly sa sky, Gago! <laughs> oh, nakarinig ng crowd reaction. Magagalit na naman to si Gago. Kasi mananalo lang daw kami kapag yung judges bumasi sa reaksyon ng tao. Guys, okay lang balabas muna kayo. <laughs> <laughs> Hipokrito ang puta! Mga binibitawan niya, mga nagwawalang kagubatan, mga naglalakad na puno, tapos magagalit ka kapag hindi kami interesado? Ano gusto mo? Suportahan namin yung pangarap mo maging ermitanyo? <laughs> <laughs> Nakikita mo ba yung mga pinagagagawa mo? <laughs> Lahat ng sinasabi mo dito may kinalaman sa engkanto. Saan na yung duwende na kachongke? Kasi yung maliit na tao, sabog. Sinanto kung saan na napupunta. Pati yung nananahimik na nila lang, pagbibisuhin, matawid lang yung baon niya. Mm. Pati mo nalang kinontak si Sequen, sayop ka. <laughs> Tanginan to, pati, cho, pati duwende, gusto kasindihan yung galawan pang sinto. Ano yun? One pop, tabi-tabi po? <laughs> Even Zen look knows that's a strong ass bar. Pati yung sikbalang na nabuti. Nice. Kasi yung dinadala ni Sipa, tanginan to, umulit pa. <laughs> sa aming kinakasalang yung tikbalang, sa inyo, buntis na. <laughs> ano mo? Kinanginan ko. Totoo kasi, ang daming pwedeng i-connect, pero laging sa masamang elemento siya in favor. Ba't hindi na lang ni-reference yung kalesa, total yung kabayo, nagle-labor. Mmm, bars. Puro ka, duwende, tikbalang, maligno, aswang. Ano ba iniintay nyo? Ipaki-MJS na yan! <laughs> magagawa nilang tulong kung sa akin hindi ka na makakais ka po. Ito yung kapalit ng binasag mong katahimikan, mali ka ng punong binato. Walang magagawa mm, si Maring yes. Jessica sa mga eksenang to at kahit wala yung edkaluwag, ramdam nyo presensya ko. Woo! Kasi anong silbe ng bakunawang lumalamon ng buwan ko na itakda lang to ng anwebe? 
21 days mean 21 guns ngayong pistol lang nasa lente pero fuck mm. green day ito yung doomsday at yung mundo niya na leche mali kayo ng taong ginising ngayong katapusan ng September wow kasi kung tutusin wala naman ang pakailam dito eh si strong ass line 21 guns is a song uh, green day right and uh, September ends another song from green day and then he Pistol was able to find a way to connect that, diba? Sinet up yun na into Green Day. 21 guns, and then he said, Malik kayo ng ginising. Tapos sa September, Wake Me Up When September Ends is uh, a line from that song. So, like, wow. Man, this is freaking Pistolero on his A game. Wow, man. This is crazy. We're seeing, uh, Pistol on, on his own on this one, man. So far, he, to me, just personally, he already has seven bars that landed. Seven bars. And all of those are really good bars. You know, not just just a bar. Good-ass lines. Plus the three rebuttals, man. Whew. Six, preto si J. Black hinahamon ko. Kaya kita pakailam dito, eh. Six, preto si J. Black hinahamon ko. Kaya kita sinasabo, natakot sa akin, mga champion nyo! Mm. Call out. Puta ina, Pistol versus St. Luke sa Cebu? Puta lab trip ka, sir! Isdang oro sa gubat? May friend na yung jellyfish ni Acer? What the fuck? <laughs> Gusto ko lang gumatel sa Cebu. Kaya ka na include, sabi ko kalaban na pang warm up, binigay niya sa akin look Para mm, sa akin, bad trip dude, ko lang umagat sa aking hook Kung ito yung isdang oro, pues ito ay catch and cook mm. What Di the... Hindi mo ko kaya sin, kahit nice. buong lifetime ka pa magsulat At dapat alam mo na yan kung ganap ka ng mulat Kung nalilibugan ka sa katotohanan na hubad Ano pa iniintay mo, putang ina mo, tuwad! <laughs> Wow, man, this is strong. Nice, 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 nice. Wow. So, apart from three rebuttals from Pistolero, which are super solid, um, all throughout this round, I jotted down nine bars that I personally like. So, bar per bar, I would have to go with Pistol round one. Uh, Obviously, Zenlook's energy started to pick uh, off, or you know, when uh, it, right in the middle of his rounds, you know, you medyo patapos na nga, I would even say middle, mga 60 70 percent na nung round niya. That, that is where he started to, you know, full steam ahead. It was a perfect closer, I would say, from you know, Zenlook, but man, obviously, Pistol was able to just took you know uh, stole the fire and the thunder from from that round and one thing i love about you know 3gs is that they're so good in terms of like style mockery you know what i'm saying earlier on the first part of pistols round he was just mocking the style or the the theme of uh, zen looks rap you know or you know uh, his uh writings yung mga uh Yung mga encanto, like, you know, mga, uh, mga sayings, mga kasabihan, paniniwala, di ba? You know, all that, the Filipino culture. Pistol was able to call that out in a very comedic way. That's why it landed so cleanly. And that is what 3GS really is good at. Like, yung style mocking, they are very good at that. You know, you cannot take that away from 3GS. Pistol, Mzite. Uh, Poison, K-Ram, man, those guys are really, really good. And to me, uh, the best in style mocking is uh, Pistol, K-Ram, and Poison. This one, I have to go Pistol. Uh, first round, Pistol really is, you know, he was able to start off strong from that rebuttal. Rebuttals, three solid rebuttals, all of it, even Pistol and already knew na o oh, akin na to. He said, panalo na ako. And, and Zenlo kind of agree with that. Kind of agree with that with, with the the body language that he's showing us. Uh, bar per bar, I recorded nine for pistol for a uh, first round, eight 
from Zendlok, but 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 it's not as um, a landslide as it looks. Because to me, the biggest bar on that first round is the Tabula Rasa. This is just me, you know. That to me is the biggest uh, bar of that first round. But punches, man. And energy, crowd reaction, you know, control and dominance. Pistol started off strong all throughout his round. Let's go second round. Pistol took the first round for me. Nah. <laughs> Zen look knows that, that that round was pistol. Ngunit nung narinig niya ang aking pangalan ng buntot niya ay nabahag. Mamaya ka magdurusa ngayon, lasapin mo ang kilabot. Nasa huli ang pagsisisi pagkat naunahan ka ng takot. Kahirapan at kalbaryo pagdurusa at kamalasan. Hangad niya ay magandang bukas, hinahanap niya kung nasan. At ang bunga ng tagumpay gusto niyang makuha at mahawakan. Kaso parang ampalaya ang hawak, magiging mapait ang kapalaran. Sa simpulo niyo, uso daw kaplastikan. Sa akin may nagkwento lang talaga. Nice. Wala pa daw pandemya, puro na kayo nakamaskara. At yung mm, pangkat yung 3GS, nice. nilaglag ng sarili mong kagrupo. Yung kalaban mo yung kastilyo, pero bakit ikaw yung pinaguho? At ato naman, kung artista ka, nagkamali ka dito pare. Cowboy, dapat sa gubat, bawal arte-arte. Mag-aalay ako bilang dayo at respeto sa inyong rehiyon. Dadakipin ko ngayon tong baboy, papalapa ko sa Haring Leon. Tol kay mahahati, may boka ang mabol ang mga labi. Yapos na malakobra, anakondang ng babali. Mm, Takbo sa nice may talahib, apanoy tsak mapanganib. Todas oh, ka palagi, baon ka at lamon. Pagkatakoy, maladragon, malaamon, rapag nagal. Mm, damn! This is what I'm Oy, talking about. Oy, dalang apoy ay natatangi, kaya chong halalangoy pa sa malalim. Kapo sa pagtalon at pag-abot sa bahaghari. Dabog na nagahari, tsak lagot kat mayayari. Oras ay kasapi, sobrang pagkayari. Ngayon ay tsak nagobas ka at bog sa at sa bog ka malabong ba sa marawi. Mm. Outstanding rhyme scheme. Kahit mag isikupido ka pa, Time. may pana at puso. Di ka pa rin makakatama, sa labang to wala kong puso. Stilo mo pang manilenyo, nakakairitan ako. Parang guro sa matematika, dito walang gustong makinig sa'yo. Nice. Kung may paparatang ka sa akin, siguraduhin mo lang na yan ay tunay. Mga anggulo mo ngayon, puro mali, parang mga desisyon mo sa buhay. Kung pinagsalitaan kita ng matamis, nagkamali lang ako kanina. Salita ko pulupukyutan, kaya nadudulas ang aking dila. Binigyan na kalaban sa'yo si Lucas, na pagtanto ko lang. Umiikot ako sa ulo mo sa loob ng isang buwan. Tsak magiging mayabang ka na at mapagmataas sa bawat titik. Lumalaki yung ulo niya kasi ako yung nasa isip. Mm. Kayo tumawag ka na kay Amiha. That's nice. Ay na, ay na mag-react. Bias kayo mo ha. <laughs> Kayong tumawag ka na kay Amihan at magpatulong ka kay Habagat. Sarap mo itulak sa buhawi o kaya sa ipo-ipo na kagal. Amihan, Habagat, ipo-ipo. Lahat mm -hmm. yan sa'yo ipapakain. Sulitin mo na lang dahil mamaya mawawalan ka na ng hangin. No, wow. So second round, I would say that Zendlok's second round is a lot stronger than his first round. Uh, I recorded a total of uh, 10, 10 uh, bars from uh, Zendlok. I, I love his uh, yung Amonra, yung Anaconda, Cobra, Amonra, Balib, the yung scheme na yun, and in extend niya yun, ni Zendlok, like first scheme, second, that extended scheme hanggang mapunta nun sa uh, Amonra I think that was the second scheme it was super powerful I would say that he was able to pick up his team and pick it up um, more aggressively earlier this round than the first round kasi first round for me I think he he waited a little too long you know before he started like ah being aggressive the Zen look that we're all looking forward to this Round out, say, uh, first twenty, uh, the twenty percent, the first twenty percent of the round was, you know, you know, he was starting slow, he was, uh, you know, uh, picking up until, but you know, until the thirty percent, then he started until that young anaconda cobra. When that rhyme scheme started, that is when he started like bam, 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 really uh, pick it up and, you know, um, really. 
um, show us aggressive and strong and his stage presence really is different on this first uh, the second round compared to the first round so I would say this one is a better round uh, Zendlok let's go on and see uh, what uh, Pistol has to say with this one Tanginan to nung inisip daw ulma kayong ulo. Tangina mo umulong ulo pong ka. Mm. Eh kakaisip mo nga sa akin yung buhok mo kumulot na. Tsura mo tropa. Buhok apro yung mukha opra. Tangina mo. Nasasobrahan ka na sa Salawi ka eh. Mm -hmm. Kwento Salawi ko lang ka. ha. All right. Isang araw, nakamotor. Papasok ng skwela tong ulo pong. Nang sa kalagitnaan, maplatan. Nang bataan siya sa mga pakong pulupulotong. Imbis maganap ng vulcanizing shop, umupo sa sulok, bumulong-bulong. Tanggap niya na daw yung katotohanan na ang buhay parang gulong. <laughs> minsan nasa ibabaw, minsan nasa ilalim, madalas tanga! <laughs> Yan si Saint Luke. Makatang ibang klase. Ayaw niya daw sa chismisan. Lirikal lang siya palagi. Pero puro kasabihan at salawi kain, yung napili mong atake, anong kaibahan mo sa sismoso kung pinapalaganap mo, sabi-sabi. Mm, Tawag niya sa sense. website, puksapok. <laughs> Tanginan to, patawa. Pag yung English word, walang Tagalog translation, mag invento na lang siya. Kesa magsalita ng English, mas mabuting iti kung mambibig at huwag pakilusin ang panga. Ultimo Chicken Joy at Jollibee, di lulusot yun sa kanya. Kakain lang siya ng kasiyahang manok sa bubuyog na masaya. <laughs> Tangin na mo, gutong ka na. Gusto mo, maangas ka pa. <laughs> Even sick. <laughs> you see, that's the difference in terms of like punchline. Like, I'm not saying that you know, a Zen looks punchline not good. The difference because it's like when you hear Zen looks punchline, like, ooh, my papa isip ka. Like, ano nga ibig sabihin? Like, wow, wow. <laughs> si, si Pistol, kasi you get what he's trying to say kagad. Eh. You get it on the spot. Nakuha mo na kagad. It's easy to receive. <laughs> Even Zen looks face, like, it, it kind of says it all already in terms of like different punchline. Let's listen to that one more time. Ang kasiyahang manoy at Jollibee, mambibig at huwag pakilusin ang panga. Ultimo Chicken Joy at Jollibee, di lulusot yun sa kanya. Kakain lang siya ng kasiyahang manok sa bubuyog na masaya. <laughs> look at that, look. Ang <laughs> tangina mo, gutong ka na. Gusto mo, maangas ka pa. Even said, look. I react to that. Gusto pa yun daw siya ng purong Tagalog? Eh halos wala ka nang ang masay. Bukod sa nagre-recycle ka ng idea, yung pananagalog mo ang lame. Kaya daw siya nagbubuhat ng bangko kasi aalis na siya sa lamesa. Woo! Lupit! Hooray! Bakit? Anong tingin mo sa bangko? Give away? <laughs> Tangin mo, tanaw ko lahat ng butas mo. Sana di mo na ako pinalapit. Kung gumagaralgal yung boses sa magaspang nakatotohanan, ibig sabihin yung duramo may sabit. Mm. Kita sa pagkakayari. At yung nice. narinig mo nagsasabi. Nahirap ka ng panindigan yung pinapakita mong imahe. Narsisisti kong nag-aakalang sa ganyang stilo siya ang hari. Ulul sa dyang ugali. Mulang bumuhat ng bangku ang hindi mo pagmamayari. Tapos nice. yung usapang Tagalog, Emar, eh, yung kaibahan nyo lilitaw. Sa dyan sa paglakas ng industriya, may maduming usok na sisingaw. Hindi mo pagmamayari ang mundong yan. Nice. Isa ka lang sa nakikitang pisaw. Kaya anong silbi ng malakas mong pagbitaw? Kung matagal ko nang tinalo yung malakas na ikaw. Woo! Utanginan to, puro wow. kabute at psychedelic shit. <laughs> kabute. Yan ang palaging dada niya. Pero nung ahon sa Batangas, doon ko napatunayan na wannabe kang walang yaka. Sabog na sabog daw sa kabute, puta ang lakas ng tama. Mamukat-mukat mo, tinitira mo yung mushroom sa carbonara. <laughs> Tanginan to feeling street shit. Palihim lang daw kapag umiscore. Eh yung kabuti mo, nasa lata, nasa sari-sari store. Mm. May nalalaman pang sa tae ng baka mo makukuha ang tunay na force. Pag sinubsub kita dyan, tangina mo, rekta ka sa source. <laughs> <laughs> tangina mo, sumbog kita sa mama mo eh. Magpasalamat ka sa round na to may respeto pa ako sa yung natira. 
kahit gaguhin lang kita, laro ko dito, magdidikta. Mm. Wow. Santado ta- nice. Butang ina, binabalaan kita. Di naman sa pagiging mapanita. Pero oras na makarinig pa ako sa iyo ng mga barang mas makamandag pa sa kobra, tang ina mo kukubrahan kita. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. This is also a stronger round of Pistolero compared to his first round. Uh, to me, the biggest line on this uh, round was yung Jollibee line. Uh, I recorded 11 bars from Pistol on this one. So, bar per bar, Pistol just edge, just edge. Um, then look by one point, you know, bar per bar. Um, difference, uh, what I love about this one is that pistol starts to break down dissect Zen look style though though he already did that in the first round palang, but it he was just yung pahaging lang he was just you know uh grazing through it you know but on this second round he re, all his angles most if not all of his angles are focused on Zen look style he's breaking it down he's making fun of it he's mocking it he is calling it out Talagang he is exposing Zen look in every way he can in every way possible within that uh, rounds and lines that he have so this is a solid style breakdown he edged um, Zen look by one point though I'm still thinking um, Amonra versus the Jollibee line the Amonra kasi I, I, you 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 cannot sleep on that uh, yung kanyang uh, what do you call this yung rhyme scheme yung scheme it was an extended scheme uh, Zen look dead and it was man it was a haymaker every time but Pistol Pistol style is you know he, he is it's like showing Zen look and everyone else that he can match that level nang easy easy lang you know nang effortlessly that's what he's saying kahit laruin lang kita eh. you know what I'm saying I can match on that so ha 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 I'm gonna have to give this one with pistol still pistol yeah pistol just yung just a neck you know what I'm saying like hairline difference lang gahibla lang talaga yung difference so to me, uh, two rounds already, Pistol. Um, to me, Pistol already won this, just to me. Round per round, but let's see. Maybe, you know, Zen look and turn the tide. Knock out punch in this third round. Let's go. Who knows, right? Oh, ayoko sa chismis na bulgaran. Ayoko sa chismis na bulgaran lamang. Para sa bara, doon magkakaalaman. Suntok sa suntok, yun ang gusto ko na laban. Banong bagsik at chemical ali, dapat panalo ang bigayan. Mm, Komplikado nice. ba ang liriko, mga linya, nakakagula? Wow. Sistematikong hieroglipiko, di mo alam paano sinulat. Mm. Budega, tas tagiliran, tas Bars. basaga ng bungo. Parang pagkikita ng pamilya, magnuluksuhan ng dugo. Bars. Sa personal, siya ay magalang. Maginoo, tapos disente. Tas kampiyon pa sa dalawang liga. Yan ay halos imposible. Kaso ang lahat ay may hangganan. Magpaalam ka na, siyempre. Ang katapusan ay dito na magsisimula. Ikauna ng Disyembre. Di mo ko maaabot. Bars. Huwag ka masyadong mapapel. Lingwahe sobrang tayo parang tori ni Babel. Pero di mo mapapatumba. Mananatili sa kung nasan man ito. Di mo ko magagalaw parang nabali na buto. Imbis na kukuha ng anggulo sa mga naon niya ng la- sa mga naon na niyang laban na boring man, mas pinili ko na lang manood at makinig sa mga kanta ni OG1. Kalaban ko kampiyon, pistolero ay nax. Sobrang kakaiba ng estilo ko kahit sino kalaban ko style class. Kalaban ko kampiyon. That's nice. Pistolero ay nax kahit sino kalaban ko. Mm. Ang resulta style class kahit maging greatest of all time ka pa. Sa akin di ka pa rin pwede ihambing. Pag mga ideya ko umaambon, nilalagnat ang mga kambing. Siya daw ay halimaw na nagising. Siya daw ay hal- Nilalagnat ang mga kambing? Ambon, kambing? Why? I don't know. I don't understand that line. But, 
uh, hindi ba nilalagnat ang mga kambing? I don't know. Or how do they get um, flu or fever? I don't really get that, but, you know, it seems that... I don't know if it does not make sense or it's just me. Put it in the comment section. I don't know what that means. So, forgive me. Halimaw na nagisip. Kambing. Pwede ihambing. Pag mga ideya ko umaambon, nilalagnat ang mga kambing. Sa daw ay halimaw na nagising. Sa daw ay halimaw na nagising. Grabe ang lupit. Kung sa ay halimaw na nagising, papatulugin ko ulit. Mm. Kung ang bara nagiging kwarta, matagal na sana kung mayaman pambihira. Negosyanteng may ikatlong mata sa sobrang daming kinikita. Mga, lenya, mga linya binibenta na may lirisismo na pangpukaw. May presyo ang laman din na kailangan pa ng bugaw. Sa gantong init, nagigising kahit tulog pa ng mantika. Stilo niya, hindi luto, hindi hinog, taglay niyang wika. Yung lakas mo kulang pa, salita niya ay mahina. Parang kumakain na hapon kasi nga hilaw ang nasa dila. Bakit nga ba si pistolero na punta dito sa gubat? Nice. Upang tugisin ang makata ng pangalan daw ay Lucas. Talunin at magapi, supuin siya kasaktan. Kaso pa naginip mo lang to, kaya nangyayari ay ang kabalik na ran. Isang puro pagsita at pagpula lang ng maingay. Kumpara sa lirisismo na may puso. I like that line. To me, uh, this is his strongest. Uh, yung panaginip mo lang to, uh, kaya ang nangyayari kabalik na ran. I believe that's a belief in the Philippines, right? Uh, Filipino believe that yung mga panigib mo kabalik taran, de ba? Sana oh, nam panigib mo kano matayo ko? Kabalik taran daw yung meaning nun or your dreams eh, kabalik taran yung meaning. So I like that. I like that. They man, Zandlog is really <coughs> staying still, you know, to to his uh to to his approach and his theme weapon choice of weapon. Let's let's listen. Eh, let's go back and listen to this one. Sang puro pagsita at pagpuna lang ng maingay. Kumpara sa lirisismo na may puso sa kapuro at dalisay. May malapit ba na ilog dito? Pwes ang tubig ihanda. Kalakasan ko tsak na lulutang. Parang bangkay niya mamaya. Wow, man. You can see. You can see Pisto's confidence on this one. You know, he all raised up. Look, like because you know, uh, Zent looks stylish is very unique. You know, this is something that you have never seen before. But I think uh, the difference is that you really have you replay value or say nakai Zend look. I mean, let me correct myself. Zend look has that replay value. You know what I'm saying? Pag pinakinggan mo that ah uh, yeah, it, you know the 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 lines are getting. Uh, more impactful and it's nabubuhay, you know, th that's where I'm getting at. Yon. But so first hearing live and all that, you you really are not gonna get most of his lines. I was able to to jot down nine, you know, so this is better than his first round, but the difference that parang medyo rough yung performance design look on the third round. To me this is Personally and performance-wise, this is the weakest of his round on this battle. Because the first round, yeah, second round, yeah, it's smooth, it's better. This one, dami yung mga uh, utal utal and slip ups, right? This is not as smooth as we are expecting, or not as smooth as we we all get used to seeing or hearing Zendlok. The back is Zendlok, kaya I mean, to me, again. I'm gonna repeat myself. Harlem versus Zendlok is the best Zendlok that I've seen. But this this third round, he has more punchlines than the first one that landed to me personally. The bars that he said it is better, but you can't really come up like something. Uh, uh, okay, that that really is a knockout punch. He needed a knockout punch in this one because you know, to me personally, sa akin lang. Pistol already got the first two rounds, you know, and Pistol already knew na, you know, I, I have this on the bag, so I mean, <laughs> tulog, you know, that, and maybe that, that's one thing too, maybe Zandlok already felt na, first two rounds, panal na sa Pistol, so maybe, again, I'm just making, you know, assumptions, maybe he already felt to himself like, ah, wala naman na eh, panal na si 
pistol so he didn't he did not you know go on his best i don't know maybe let's go on pistols round though Gumagaling, double meaning, double antana, gumagaling, healing, and then getting better is what he's trying to say. Kasi yun yung una yung attack, yung paggaling, literally yung healing, and then he jot down names, no? Less down names ng mga nakalaban niya. Uh, I believe that was his road to his Isaboy Championship. And then he said na they got better, mas gumaling sila, so it's double antana. Alright, wow, that's good as way to connect to things and you know connecting bar you know what I'm saying that's very nice let's go may hindi man ako napagaling sorry Yuniko sabi na see kumagaling that's very big grupo kayo alas 4 kaling tawin Sendlo GL Yuniko Penpluma putang ina mo all star na sana kung sinali nyo si Duma hahaha Damn. Kaya ako lang nabanggit si Yuniko. Ikikwento ko yung laban niya kay Harlem. At yung mm, si, si, si. Yes, si Yuniko saying. sa mga hurado, yung OA na pagre-react niya halatado. Kapag oras mo na, tsaka lang nag-iingay para madama mm. yung ibang hurado, yung bibig nag-aalarm pag natapat sa alas 4, tarantado! Ooh. Wow, man. Ang ibukang bibig niya, siya ay malaya. Nice. At yung kahon ay natakasan. Strong. Pero iisa lamang yung pinapakita mong kalakasan. Panggap makabayan, wala kang pinagkaiba sa lupa mong tinatapakan. Nabubuhay ka pa din sa ilusyon mong kalayaan. Mm. Tangin na yung mga day ones, alam mismo na sa ganyang stilo ko nang galing. Pero yung reas ng limitasyon, nagawa kong wasakin. Nagawa kong ikutin yung mundong to hanggang sa makita yung lugar na para sa akin. Naging kampyon na ginagawa yung gusto ko. Sinong mas malaya sa atin? Nice. Strong. Tangina, vocabulary, talinhaga. Yan lang ang siyang alam mo. Talinhaga, teknikalo, komedya, lahat yan kasya sa kamay ko. Mm. Tangina, sobrang limitado ng galaw sa pagnanakaw na nainganyo. Palakid at batas, di ba, sa'yo mismo nang galing na sila yung tinitingala mo. Pero nung pinaratangan ka ni Black na ninakawan mo sila, nauutal-utal to si Gago. Sa dami-dami daw ng MC dito, di malabo na magkapare-pareho tayo. Tarantado! Batid ko bilang battle rapper, di talaga malabo. Na yung pinaon mo, maaaring naibaon ko. Pero bilang solid fan, imposible hindi nyo alam yung mga salitang lumabas sa bibig ng idol nyo. Wow, man. That's Sinungaling. Just... Tangin, ang ultimo reaction na parang sa'yo makarecognize ng scheme, linya, o kahit intricate na tugma. Nang umit ng linya sa heavyweights, baka daw umubra, balakid at batas, tas umaasa kang lulusot ka! Tangin, ika nga nila, madalas hindi maganda ang bunga ng tinanim mong kapusukan. At kang tutubo yan dito sa gubat, mali kayo ng pinaunlakan. Usapang prinsipyo, anumang laro sa bokabularyo ay walang kabuluhan. Dekwat, nakaw, umit, kupit, tangay, puslit, anuman ang salitang gamitin sa iyo ang bagsak ng kahulugan. Mm. Tangina, kung iniisip ang sining at walang makakapantay, Oof. dapat meron kang paninindigan hanggang paa ay magpantay. Pwes yung salitang galing sa bibig mo mismo ang siyang nag-iwan ng tanong. Kung may natitira ka pang prinsipyo, paano mo nasisikmurang buhay ka pa ngayon? Mm. Tangina, ayaw niya sa komedya, oo kami yung kanyang ayaw na ayaw. Tinawag mo kaming unggoy sa perya, pero tila sa'yo mas nahalaw dahil ang unggoy kapag kinailangang mabuhay sa kapatagan, nagiging magnanakaw! Mm. Tangina, yung pagnanakaw mo na yan para maipanalo ang laban, 
patunay na nagkulong ka sa maling konsepto ng kalayaan. Nagawa mong lokohin yung sarili mo, maramdaman lang yung pakiramdam ng hinahangaan, hindi ka alagad ng sining, ikay alipin ng palakpakan. Wow. Wow. Wow, okay. Third round. Ah, uh, si Pistol, he continued that style breakdown, but this one he got a little more detailed, no? Dun sa kanyang uh, round, yung mga pagnanakaw and all that. He, he was very specific, he even mentioned Batas and and uh, Balakid, no, in this round, saying uh, si Zendlok, stole from these people and this this so <clears throat> to me this is zen looks uh weakest round you know over all his performance but i'm still gonna give punch for punch i would say zen look because the punch for punch i was able to jot down nine k zen look in bars nine eight k pistol but the way of seeing delivery, let us alive, you know, you will not really get those lines from Zen Look. So it feels as if, no, this is a landslide, this third round. But it feels like Pistol kind of just lay lie on this uh, third round. Parang he just, you know, just give it away. Parang to me, it's almost as if, you know, he's, he's just like ba uh, bara bara on this third round. Uh... But, you know, does, it, it does not mean that it was not smooth. You see, the difference between Pistol and Zendlok is that Pistol, when he started off strong, you have to be super, super prepared because Pistol is the kind of MC that, you know, gets better, you know, uh, as the round goes by. For kung first round niya malakas, you can expect that the second round is going to get better and the third round is going to get better. And all boils down to if he gets the the momentum, the vibe behind him, that's what I've noticed from Pistol. Kapag nakuha ni Pistol yung energy na inap niya, yung vibe na inap niya, from the very beginning, it's very hard to beat Pistol when he is in his momentum. And he was able to do that just the first rebuttal, the first line he spoke about the panok pag inadjust. Zen look naman, uh, he's. he's Obviously, he stayed true to his style. Yung sinabi nga rin ni Pistol ka na yung kasabihan, yung mga, you know, that folklore stories and all that. And what can I say? I'm I'm gonna have to go with Pistol on this one. Uh, all three rounds, personally. But if I'm going to be... The, the only reason I said the, all three rounds... Pistols because Zenlook has more bars in the third round, but we we can all agree that that is the the roughest. Sobrang slip ups, utal utal na Zenlook on this. It's like all hopes are gone. I mean, binitawin yun yung hopes na manalo on this one. But Pistol, it was not as good as his first and second round. But you know, he was he's. Stuck to his guns on this one. Ooh, he stuck to his guns on this uh, to finish the the, the rounds. So I'm gonna have to go all all three rounds or first two, first round, second round. Uh, pistol. I think that that's my judging. I think pistol won this one. This is my first time watching this, so I don't know if you agree with me. I think the the biggest thing between these two people, Zenlock style, does not age well. It does not age. Well, let me repeat myself. It does not age well. What do I mean by that? The first time his style was introduced to all of us, so flipped up, we are kind of all swept on our feet and like, ooh, bago to, a flavor of the month. That's the first time we have heard of it. So like, we all we, we already have malalalim. We already have um, matatalinong bars, talaga mabibigat, balakid, um, but as with his schemes, you know, that loony with his smoothies, you know. Uh, but, Zen look style is very new and very fresh at that time and very unique to him. That's one, some, something and one thing that you have to give to Zen look that that style is really his own. But the thing is, it does not age well as the time goes by because he kind of failed to show us the evolution or something more. 
from his style. You would understand from like Zach, uh, Zach Mestre has the same problem. When Zach Mestre was first introduced to all of us, his style was like, oh, we're all swivel feet. Like, man, this guy is a heavyweight. This guy is good and all this and all that. But they kind of fail to evolve and give us something new from that style. Like, I'm going to give you an example. See, see Balakid and Batas, just the name, the two guys that pistol name. Balakid uh, changes his entire game, right? From after Nyang Matalo kay Luna and Dalo, like his approach now becomes different. You know, yung kanyang stage presence, yung kanyang multis, antandras, nilang double to me triple meaning na. And it's very direct. He showed us yung one liner, one two punch setup, punchline kaaga. That's, that's balakid. Uh, on a nutshell, and then Batas naman, his, obviously, yung kanyang scheme and his flow, di ba, binago ni Batas yung ta 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 da 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 palaging aminamak yun eh, di ba, yung style ni bagong Batas compared to like the first uh, era ng Batas, and that's that's the the difference between those two people na binanggit ni Pistol to Zendlok, because this is the same Zendlok that we saw from the past, and Siguro meron na din yung element na, but I kind of show us something new. You know, may sawa na rin. Ah, yan na naman. Alam mo yun. Uh, that is just to me, okay? That's just to me. I think that's one thing that we should, um, Zandlok should work on. Um, show us an evolution of that style. Ano yung next level niyang style na? Compared to Pistol, Pistol has gotten really, really freaking better. You have to give it to him, man. This guy, since 2020, Makikita mo yung like evolution ng pistol. He is getting better 2021, 2022, and now like to me, I started noticing pistolero like 2020. Really, now okay, this guy really is you know something else because maybe that time he has not broke through yet that you know glass ceiling to to go next level, and he even admitted that earlier in this round, I'm going to evolve now, right? all the changes and look, I started like that, but now I'm different. I, I I may not been able to master, you know, all these areas, but I could say that kaya kong sumabay in all those different areas. So, yeah, to me, this this one is uh, Pistol's Night, and um, I hope we can, you know, see a newer, fresher, and you know, stronger and look after this. I'm not sure who won this one. Let's see what the judges has to say. Pistolero versus and look, Pagayas Bambes, para sa kanilang pareho, at para sa sarili nyo, para sa atin lahat, para sa buong two days na bukbat. Sana panalo kayo, kayong lahat sa lahat ang mga, lahat ang mga laban at sa dalawang araw natin. At lalong-lalo para sa laban na yun. Pero ang boto ng urado, 5-0, pagigay. But I Yeah, Exactly. Perhaps para sa kanya kasi ano, um, sa ganung dikdik ka na laban na syempre ano. Sa so tingin ko naging effective yung round man ni Zendlo kasi hindi pa na stereotype ni Pistol yung style niya eh. Kaya mas naging effective si Zendlo sa round 1 pero almost all 3 rounds binigay ko kay Kuya Pistol kasi ano, uh, yun nga, na effective yung style breaker talaga, binasa niya talaga yung si Zendlo eh. Ayun, uh, pero para kay Zendok, napakalakas mo rin. Uh, yun, si Pistol. Dito to si Pistolero, uh, 1 and 2 Malinaw. Yung 10 round 3 para sa akin tayo yun. Duro mas effective yung tala
Round one pa lang pag malakas na kaya ng Exactly. That's one sign. Cross pa lang yung Saint Luke pero when he started strong man it's hard to para sa akin yung three rounds binigay ko kay Pistol kasi iba yung clowning talaga niya. Yung round one pa lang yung isa sa pinakamalakas na linya ni Saint Luke panapos niya yata yun. Tapos agad-agad binalik niya ng rebat niya. This is what I'm saying. Parang na-cancel yung Stealing someone's thunder. Nice. So I hope you love this. I don't know if you agree with me with my breakdown. Things that I missed put in the comment section. I hope you enjoy this. Let's look at other battles that we can, you know, react and judge together. What can I say? I'll see you in the next uh, video. Hit the subscribe button. I love you guys. Mwah.